In this video, we will assemble the two pulleys we have created in our earlier videos. So let's get started. Select assembly this time. Click OK. OK, so cross this window. First, we will create two axes. In this reference geometry, select axis. Now we will select two planes. Select this top plane. It will appear here and then select right plane. It will also appear here. Click OK and our plane is created. It will be hidden, but don't worry. Uh, click here and select axis. It will appear again like this. Now our first axis has been created and now we will create a plane for our second axis. So click here plane. Select right plane like this. So make distance from axis 1 as 200 millimeter because we want to set the distance between our two pulleys as 200 millimeter. Okay. Now let's create the second axis. Go to reference uh, geometry and select axis again. Extend this bar and click here on top plane like this and our second axis has been created like this. Okay, now two axes has been created. We will align our two pulleys on these two axes. So now insert, uh, click on insert component. Select uh, first pulley. Pulley 1, open, place it here, <laughs> we click here and make it as float. It means it, it can move like this, it, it will not be fixed. Select, uh, select this surface, click on mate and now select this axis it will align on axis one now as you can see that uh, this pulley is not at the middle of axis one so let's shift uh, the pulley at the mid of axis one select this face extend this bar click front plane and now you can see that the pulley is shifted to the right side Click OK. Okay. Now insert the second pulley, pulley 2. Open. Place it here. Now let's align pulley 2 on axis 2. In the very similar fashion we have did with pulley 1. Click on mate. Now we have to select two surfaces. Select axis 2 and then select this inner surface like this. Okay. As you can see that these uh, two pulleys are not aligned. These two pulleys are not in line. Let's make them in line. Select this surface and then select this surface. Now these two pulleys are aligned. Okay. Now it's time to insert belt. Let's go to assembly features and uh, select belt chain. So select uh, these two surfaces. This is the first surface that has been appeared and this is the second surface. Okay. Scroll down like this and select this feature, create belt part. Click on OK. Now we have to save this file. Save this as a belt. Save the file like this. And uh, let's hide these uh, two axes, axis 1 and axis 2. This axis and select hide. Similarly, select uh, the other axis axis 2 and click on hide now extend this bar and click here and select this open part 
now it's time to define this belt select your reference uh, geometry click on plane select this uh, right plane zoom in click here select ok okay so now uh, make a line select line command like this and make dimension as uh, 12.07 millimeter select smart dimension and select this line make dimension as 12.07 millimeter okay and now select uh, this line and this point this should be half so 12.07 divided by 2 okay it's 6.04 millimeter now align these and uh, click on smart dimension select this line and select this midpoint this this one and make dimension as uh, 54 millimeter click ok select line command and uh, make these lines like this smart dimension the distance between uh, the two parallel lines are is six millimeter select these two lines and uh, degree as uh, 60 degree similarly select these two lines and make degree as 60 okay exit the sketch oh. okay now the belt is defined and select this uh, swept boss command and we need to select this line it has appeared here click ok and now the belt is defined uh, let's hide this plane because uh, there is no use of this plane okay for appearance apply whatever color you want i am applying this uh, red color now go to the other tab and click here yes now the assembly is completed and in the next and the final video we will perform motion study analysis thank you